for traffic today, I'm going to do a bit of a survey of um, the some of the interesting results to do with this Google search. Small business web designer Staten Island. So I've just picked one location in the US where uh, one of the students is based. Um, and I, I just want to talk through an approach to how you can look at trying to get to the top of the search engines by particularly reverse engineering your competition. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to flick through about 10 results and just talk about what's coming up. So the first one is, in fact, if you notice here, the top four results all come from this web design finders.net, which is very interesting. So the first thing that I would want to do is get onto that directory if I want to be you know, ranking in these terms, because the, the first actual agency that's coming up in its own right is down at position number five. So here's the first result, which is Staten Island Web Designers. It's got it in the domain there. It's got web design again in the in the domain. So having a look through, it's a fairly simple, clear write-up with links to a bunch of designers. Now, clearly they've got paid listings on there as well. They've got platinum listings, and that is the top top few, I would guess the top six or seven. So you probably will end up having to pay for that. Let's have a quick look. Platinum listings. Yeah, so 70 US dollars a year. But if that gets you into the top, basically a share of that number one slot on, on Google, then that's going to be better than being out down at position five, six, seven. Certainly better than page two. So let's shut that down. Have a quick look at why this page is at number one. I click the SEO book information. So the site page rank is six, page page rank is three. There's only eight links directly to this page. That's interesting. So how have they got to the top of Google with only eight page links? There's four links to the site from Dmoz. So it's generally healthy. It's got a little bit of social linking, 32, but only eight links to this particular page. So it's really riding on the back of this site page rank six, which is not an actual factor in ranking, but it's indicative that there's a lot of links into the site, which you can see is 29,000 Yahoo links. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that. And it's pulled it up in, an, in another tab. So, wow. Now apparently all eight links to that page come from the same website, which is quite bizarre. So I have no idea how that has got to the top of the listing. So we're listed in Staten Island Web Design. So that's actually their backlinks from a member of the of the listing. So that's that's very odd. So what that's saying to me is that this page is getting high because its site is generally ranked high. But why it should get to number one don't know. So we've got uh, good title tag, Staten Island Web Design, Website Design Firms, Companies, Designers and Services in Staten Island, New York directory. Well, not a lot we can say about that, but uh, $70 to be in this top page or so of the number one linking would seem to be good value. So let's look at the, the highest ranked actual website, actual, actual design firm. So they're down at number five pushed down by web design finders. So first impressions are, there's nothing here for me. Estimate request, three step guide, view portfolio. There's no, there's no proposition there whatsoever. There's no um, irresistible offer for certain. And it's got this bizarre picture of a person with their brain outside of their head, which is very uninteresting. Step one, register domain name. Step two, set up web hosting. Step three, order a website. This is really poor. And then you've got a huge paragraph of text, which you're not really going to want to read. Um, supported browsers, for goodness sake. I mean, that's, that's just way more detail than you need. Featured products. There's, there's, no, there's no proposition there, but nevertheless, they're on page one of Google. So let's look at SEO book again. Page rank of five because it's the home page, 4,000 inbound links, seven listings in Demos. 
two listings in Yahoo and the site's been around since 2004. So let's click on this page links and have a quick look. Okay, so there's probably a few of their clients in here by the look of it, sites that they've designed. It would be good to, to see this with the um, page ranks of these individual pages shown, but we can do it by just pulling up the top first five. So here we've got page rank of four for this page by the look of it. The next one, page rank four. So these are pretty valuable. Then there's a page rank five link, another four, and another five. So in the top five links, we've got three page rank fours and two page rank fives, which is pretty impressive. So that's how they're on page one of Google. They're pretty much embedded there. You can have a hell of a job to try and beat these guys to the number one spot. But if somebody's going to pull up a number of links from the home page you can certainly beat this page for giving a message and actually appealing to the small business web designer there's nothing here as far as i'm concerned for the for the small business owner who wants a website now oh dear oh dear let's go and pink bit of my roll over it so where are these guys seven strategy are they in the top list no so they're not actually in the Google results at all, as far as I can tell. Let's have a look, seven strategy. No, so they're not in the top 100 in Google. And it's absolutely awful. This is one of the one of the very worst web pages that we've looked at on this course entirely. Web solutions that fit. And then they've got their logo. It's just, it's wrong in every conceivable way. Um, so, you know, nothing to fear with these guys. Let's have a quick look. There's no page rank at all. There's no links to this page. That's why they're not in the top 100. So nothing to fear. Metroinc.com. So these guys are in Staten Island, New York. It says in the bottom. So it says what they do, design, print, mail, web. It's a little bit arty. And then this this initial banner that says we're here to help. It's all about the right relationships. It's really, really lame, woolly kind of rhetoric. Print smarter, save cash and increase profits. This seems to be a lot more about print. Um, and it's got web design tagged on, really. It's probably in this drop down. Yeah, so web, web design. Let's get that web design offering. Now, this isn't bad. The web design looking incredible quickly and hassle free. And we'll launch it and market it on the web. That that's okay. Um, then a list of services. I mean, it's not highly compelling, but it does a better job than a lot of pages that we see um, about, you know, actually promoting their services. But then again, you know, this this ad on the side, send me free print samples. It does tend to be pretty print heavy. So we'll see if they're in the in the top. Yeah. So they're in the top 10, they're down at 7 already. And um, so let's have a quick look at their SEO strength. Site page rank of 4. No links to the page itself. I'm just interested. This is all, this is one of those one page sites. And it's doing the content with a, a variable attached to the URL, which is not very good for SEO. So no links to the page, nothing in Demos, site page rank of four. This to me would look like a viable target. You know, I would I would hope that over time building a few links every week and getting some high quality links, um, that you could actually get in front of these guys. That's good news. So we're looking here at the the target of being position six. So we've got those four from Web Design Finders. Brain scan media, you're not going to get in front of them. 
but then so I would be looking at that sixth position on there. Let's have a look a bit further. Vitacon.com. Let's see if they if they're in the list. Yeah, so they're down just at the top of page two at, at number eleven. Now the problem with this page is it doesn't look like marketing. It doesn't look like they're trying to sell me anything. Um, although they've got these links at the top if I'm interested. But you see the icons are a lot more noticeable than what they actually mean. So that they're, they're not very, um, they don't signify anything. So I've got home, okay, I kind of get that information about us. Calculator, free estimate, makes it seem like it's a mechanical process. It's all about the money. And then contact us by phone. But this looks like a blog post. It doesn't, it, there's just no sales going on. There's nothing to say web design apart from some scrappy text here. But that's that's really bad. These these paragraphs are far too long and you cannot expect someone to sit and read those. So these guys are at position 11. Let's see why. 3,000 links to the page, according to Yahoo. So they've they've got some decent a uh, decent number of links. Let's look at the quality of the links. So yeah, 3,000 inbound links. Let's look at the first five again. So really, you know, it's like, um, if you remember the joke about there's two guys out in the, in the African savanna and a cheetah sees them and starts kind of stalking them. And one of the adventurer stops and gets some running shoes out of his backpack and starts taking his boots off and putting his shoes on and his friend goes what are you crazy you're never going to outrun a cheetah and the other guy goes well who cares about outrunning a cheetah all i need to do is outrun you and seo is like that you know if you want to get to number one at google you only have to be slightly better than the guys at number one already and you get that big improvement in your in your traffic so you only have to you only have to do what they do and a little bit more in order to beat them. So here's a few pages. So there's a page rank five and a three, but that's not particularly relevant. Page rank nothing as far as we can tell. Again, it's not not relevant. Another mortgage banker. So it's got the Staten Island link to page rank three, but there's nothing about web design there. And then this one again. So this is probably again backlinks from some of their clients. And um, so what's the page rank of this one? So it's three. So they're kind of you know low to middling ranking websites, but they're not relevant to web design. So although they've got an awful lot of links, I wouldn't say that those links are adding much. And remember, these guys were behind these guys in the ranking. And, and they've got no links at all, apparently, to this page. What were they? Let's check. Metro Inc. Yeah, Metro Inc. are on page one. They're at number seven with almost no links at all. So it's not, it's not just about the number of links. It really is about the quality. And Google is stressing this over and over again. So there's Bitcoin. Now... Here's an interesting one that came up, hotfrog.com. I've actually done some work with Hotfrog on the user interface um, about three years ago, late 2007. Um, Hotfrog is a free business listing directory. It's worth getting your business on Hotfrog for definite. Also get it on Google Local and um, any other local directories that you can find because this is completely free and it gives you some useful links um, actually, having the name of your company in the link is meant to be, with as far as Google, Google's concerned, a bit better now. Um, they're starting to be a little bit more suspicious about keywords in links. So that you know, they're, they're actually ranking. They're, they're seeing more importance in just having your your brand as the link text than it used to be. So that might be something to bear in mind. Okay, so let's carry on. So then, then what I did was I followed some of the links on here as well to find some other agencies in the area. Now this Mindsaw, fairly interesting. It looks quite slick and shiny. Um, 
It's got a lot of lighting effects going on. But um, I quite like what they're saying here, although they, they could make the text a bit easier to read. Your website is only one piece of the pie. So they're saying they're kind of offering a full consulting service. There's nothing really here about small businesses, but it is talking to business. It's saying, you know, we do web design in the context of business and, you know, beating the competition, which is not a bad thing. And it's got this request to quote. You know, it could be a lot worse. Custom web design. Okay. Dedicated professionals will bring vision and ideas into reality. Gets a bit pompous. We will provide blah, 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 blah. Okay. Much better to twist those into, flip them into benefits. Here's what you get. You know, they're talking to a business audience. They should be talking benefits to the business audience rather than what they do. So let's have a look at their SEO a little bit. 3,000 page links, page rank 5, listed in Demos, listed in Yahoo. That's pretty good. You're seeing a big variation in the in the number of links at these different sites. So look, they've got Staten Island Zoo, Wikipedia, about chocolate, Bavarian restaurant. There's nothing web design related here. There's nothing business related as far as I can tell. So this is why this is why they're not ranking higher, even though they've got lots and lots of links. So again, guys, it's all about the quality. So get yourself on Hot Frog. Get yourself some good, relevant uh, inbound links from the highest page rank pages you can. Here's the next one, Think Color. I think they were listed in, yeah, Think and Color. Um, they're listed in Hot Frog. Now this is this is a kind of going off topic. It's not really about traffic, but what a stupid homepage. To start, to have your your main focal point of your page. Which of these are you using? And then just dizzying you and slapping you around the face with loads of words. And that's this is absolute crud. If you want to engage today's new customer in a dramatically changing media environment, oh, I'm already asleep. What an awful, awful homepage. Looking at their SEO, 19 inbound links, not a lot there. So you should be able to get in front of these guys, but let's see where they are in the rankings. It's all pretty useful, by the way. You know, I've changed my settings within Google to show the top 100 results in Firefox. Is it? No. Because I've got the um, the SEO plugin here, it's showing me the number, the actual position of the ranking for every single page. So it's a lot quicker to you know um, to do a search and find who's out there, where they are in the listings, and to see 100 at a time, that is to keep clicking next, next, next. Think and colour, you know, poor SEO, not in the top 100 results for our search phrase. So who's next? This is another one, Wilkins Dev. Let's see if they're in the list. Okay, so they're in there, and they are down at position 23 which is not going to get them much traffic because they're on page three. So they're going to get, you know, a fraction of a percent of the clicks. And doesn't that look incredibly bland? Plans. It's plans. The CEO logo, blah, 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 a few things that they do. Affordable web, web design, but no tonal contrast. We live in a cost-driven driven world. Let's get to the chase. We're cheap. Highly professional, informational, 10 pages. But, you know, there's not a single graphic on there. There's not a picture of people. Why would, you, why would you trust these people? Why would you believe in them? I don't think you've got any reason at all. And they're down on page three. So easy, easy prey, I'd say. And they're down on page three, even with 4,000 inbound links. So again, the number of links to a page doesn't seem to be counting an awful lot. It's all about quality. And then just one final point. Also did a search for web designer directory free. You know, when you're looking at building inbound links, always do a little search for this and see what directories there are. Because then any directory that's got a reasonable page rank, so there's a PR4 and um, there's a PR6. You know, this is what you want. It's got web design in it and it's it's got a high page rank. That's a really, really good start.
So let's see if you've got. Let's add Staten Island in there and see if we've got anything with any decent page rank. Um, I would literally ignore these PR2s from what we're learning. So there's nothing with any reasonable page rank there. Um, no, PR2s, PR3s. We're, we're really wanting those 4s and 5s, if at all possible. But it's it's always worth you know doing a little search to see what's out there for these free directories because they're designed to let you add links even if you if you have to pay a few dollars a year it's uh, it may be worth doing so I'll do a search for my PR colon six okay there you go there's a PR six webdesignersdirectory.com however that's the home page of the site so you know they've got lit this things Michigan on the same one. So, oh dear. So, this is a statewide page and it's, but it's still got PR5. So, if you can find the New York version and get listed on there, maybe worth doing. PR5 link is, is worth a lot. And there's another PR6, Design Firm's Design Directory. It's got web design in it. These are the ones worth looking at. There's another PR6. So, all good, because you see, if you can if you can pay somebody fifty hundred dollars to get a link from a PR six page that's permanent, then and and it's relevant and it's high PR, then that's going to be a lot more effective than you spending a week of your time trying to add links into little forum posts down at page rank one, two, or three, because these PR fives we worth a hundred times a page rank three, page rank six could be worth ten times that. So you know, you've got to take into account the the time and the opportunity cost of that link building really, really go for those high PR links. Okay, and uh, we'll leave it there. Hope you've got a few ideas out of it.